Meow. Meow. So I'm doing a little kitten in a tree here. And I'm just kind of mapping out kitty first, getting those basic shapes in. And I've sped it up. I'm going to get that body going around the back of the tree. We want to make sure it matches up with the other end of the cat. That's that back foot that's kind of showing a little in there. Nope, needs to be longer. Just getting those basic important shapes in. And a bit of the tree. Spot for a muzzle. And because it's a kitten, they have such teeny weeny cute little muzzles. And some lines for where the eyes are going to go. Come in right down from the corner, inside corner of the ear to the inside corner of the eye. No, didn't like that. Got to do it again. Just wasn't the right angle. Teeny weeny kitten eyes. Kitten eyes are different looking than big cat eyes, that's for sure. And because the eyes are my focal point, I want to darken them up a bit help them stand out. Do join our cat drawing art workshop if you're passionate about drawing cats and you will find a link for that in the video description below and we'd be happy to have you if you love drawing cats. Yeah, got really thick dark line there it just didn't look right so. I do lots of erasing But that being said, I do try to keep my erasing to a minimum. It's only if it's going to be lines that are really going to get in the way. Otherwise, you're erasing all the time. And I do create extra lines when I draw in this style um, as I find my way, but the extra lines end up fading into the background tone once I strengthen up the important lines, the lines that work. Cute little kitten nose. And a teeny weeny itty bitty kitten mouth. I'm liking kitty so far. The tabby stripes really help shape the roundness of the cat's head. And I'm getting some texture in here for the tree trunk to show that Kitty actually is in a tree. Oh, I'll jump ahead a bit here. I did a lot of erasing on this paw. I just wasn't happy with it. I think I like it like that though. I like the funky wacky claws going in a bit of different directions. It helps add some charm and rhythm to the drawing. And it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it looks convincingly like cat claws. That's all that matters. And there we go with the top paw and the claws. Nope. I want to race her crazy again here. I've probably done more erasing in this drawing than I've done in a long time. But that's okay because that's why they make erasers. And do you like my little smirk on the kitten? I love squeaking a little smirk in there.
So I'm going at four times the speed right now. And some bark texture on that tree. Define the branches a little bit. And I'm going to speed it up really fast in a moment here to eight times the speed just to finish it up. Here we go. So if there's something in particular you would like to learn about drawing cats, please drop me a comment. That's where I get my ideas. And I'd love to hear from you, even if you just want to tell me about your cat. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, join our Facebook group. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.